What's up, gents? You know, uh, I'm in the middle of mocking up the engine, doing the push rod, measuring, and all that kind of stuff. And I uh, thought I'd take a moment out just to admire some of the beauty of the things often overlooked. You know, sometimes it's the little things. Sometimes less is more. Sometimes more is more. Sometimes it just ain't no kill like overkill. So kind of that, I think, applies to these simple little rocker stands that we just kind of don't think about. This is the factory GM rocker stand that came on my LS3 cast aluminum. You flip it over. You can see we have some reliefs in here. This is to clear the intake runner. Then you can see that we have the sprues in here where they cast the aluminum uh, into the sand mold. And you flip it over, and then, you know, even more curious, this, I mean, this cutout, or I don't know what you want to call it, this part, like this could be solid in here, and it could make it a lot more stiff and sturdy. This is actually, according to Livernoy Motorsports, why the OEM GM rockers fail is because these stands allow too much flexing under high RPMs. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. They claim it is on their Spintron. So Livernoy then solved the solution. They made their own CNC billet rocker stands, much sturdier, much nicer. I really like these pieces. Again, I'm not sponsored by Livernoy. I'm not sponsored by anybody. But this is a high quality part. If you flip it over, you can see we still have uh, the reliefs in here for the intake runners. But in the other area where the factory has this sprue, it's all solid in here. Obviously, it's CNC, but my point is we're not missing material. You're never, ever going to make a metal piece stronger by removing material. You can, depending on the cut, you can make it stronger for its weight, but you're never going to strengthen it by removing metal. So GM would be a lot better if we could fill in all these little pieces. Similarly, when we flip it over, I got to ask, why did Livernoy cut all this stuff out? Why not leave it solid? I never thought about that till I saw the Frankenstein version. So these are for the M311 heads, which is an aftermarket casting. And you can tell, man, that's, that's a monster, no pun intended. That's beefy right there. Now, the sad part is this rocker stand only works on those aftermarket casting heads. The bolt holes are just slightly enough different that they're not going to line up. Uh, but also, it does not have any of the relief cuts on the back here. To clear the intake runner. It's just solid. It's massive. It's beefy. And when we compare the overall thickness, you can see like it's just beefier and thicker all around. This is an impressive piece. It's really nice. So it's also taller. Uh, the M311 heads use taller valves, which Frankenstein does cut down to make shorter because they're ridiculously long. So this pairs with the, the taller valves as well, which explains the height difference. If you look at, if I could line it back up properly. Sorry about this crackhead camera work here. But you can see I'm doing my best to line them up and it's sitting the, the rockers a little bit higher. So anyway, I just thought I'd uh, stop, take a moment just to point out some goodies. Aftermarket coolness, again, not sponsored by anybody, just, just, you know, showing off hardware. Anyway, have a good one. See you in the winter circle. Bye.